Nangyari na ang ginatatakutan ni Nauye Inoue at ito nga po ang mapalaban sa isa sa pinakamalakas na buksingero. Marami nga pong mga boxing fans ang di bumibilib sa kakayahan ni Nauye Inoue kahit pa taglay-taglay nito. Ang pagiging mahusay, malakas at napakatalinong buksingero dahil para bang nagmumula lamang sa bansang Japan lamang itong fanbase ni Inoue na kung saan nga po ay nakilala lamang si Inoue dahil sa mga nakuha nitong mga titulo sa ilang mga kampiyon sa kanyang pinamumugarang division. Ayon kay Bob Arum ay handa na di umano si Inoue lumabas ng Japan para sa gayon ay gumawa ng pangalan. Ito po'y dahil sa naipaliwanag na po kasi kay Nauya Inoue na hindi sapat ang paglaban sa Japan para mahaligi sa pinakamagagaling at pinakamahuhusay na buksingero dito sa kasaysayan ng baksi. Dahil sa kailangan mo talagang ipakita sa buong mundo kung bakit ka nga ba nararapat na mahaligi sa mga all-time greats katulad na lamang nitong ating pambansang kamao at 8th Division World Champion na si Manny Pacquiao. Na naging mukha ng boxing sa kanyang era at naging isang global superstar nitong boxing. Ngayon mga idol ay ang naging unang hakbang ni Bob Arum na promoter ngayon ni Nauya Inoue ay ang pagtungo sa Amerika para sa gayon nga po mga idol ay doon ganapin ang mga laban ni Nauya Inoue. Pero sapat na nga ba ito mga idol para maging isang ganap na pay-per-view fighter at global superstar si Nauya Inoue? Hindi na po kasi umiepektibo sa mga vaccine fans sa mga palabas na kung saan ay alam mo na agad ang magiging pangwakas na kaganapan. Yung tipong kahit hindi pa po nagsisimula ang laban ay alam na po agad ang mga vaccine fans na mananalo sa laban si Nauya Inoue. Ito dahil sa milyang-milyang pagkalayo sa kakayahan itong si Inoue, ang hinarap niyang kalaban. Hindi ko din malaman-laman kay Babaaro mga idol dahil sa kung kailan tumanda na ito sa boxing, ay parang hindi nito napagtandaan ang tamang aspeto sa paghaligi o paggawa ng mga buksingerong titingalay ng mundo. Hindi na po kasi epektibo ngayon ang paramihan ng titulo dahil sa marami na ngayon ang mga buksingerong may tatlo o higit pang titulong hinahawakan dito sa dimisyon na kanilang napagarihan. Ang totoong titulo kasi ngayon ng buksingero ay nagmumula na sa pangalan ito. Pangalan ng buksingerong masasabi po natin na literal na halimaw sa kanyang dimisyon kahit pa wala itong titulong pinanghawakan katulad na nga po lamang nitong si Ryan Garcia. Ngayon pa paano nga ba magagawa ito ni Nauya Inoue? Eh kailangan niya po talagang harapin itong kanyang mga takot at labanan na mga buksingerong gustong sumubok sa kanyang kakayahan. Katulad na po lamang nitong si 3 Division World Champion John Rel Cuadro Alas Casimero, former Unified Super Bantamweight World Champion Muro Jun Akmadaliev, at global superstar na isang pay-per-view fighter na si Gervon Tatang Davis. Ngayon po ay ang pinakamagandang magiging hakbang ni Nauya Inoue para makamit po talaga ang kasikatan sa Amerika ay ang pagtalo po nito sa tinagulang tangke ng Baltimore na si Gervon Tatang Davis. Si Davis ay isang pay-per-view fighter at dekalibring buksingero sa kanyang panahon. Kung kakasa si Inoue sa hamon ni Davis na catchweight dito sa kanilang magiging sagupaan at magawa po na manalo ni Inoue at matalo ang pinakamahusay at kinatatakutan na buksingero sa lightweight division ay sigurado mga idol na magiging isang ganap na po agad na global superstar itong si Nauya Inoue at mahaligi po talaga sa bagong mukha ng boxing. Pero magkikimalaking katanungan dyan mga idol ay lalaban po kaya si Nauya Inoue. Sa buong boxing karir po kasi nitong si Inoue mga idol ay isa pa lamang ang Hall of Famer na kanyang nakalaban. At ito na nga po ay ang isang matandang dekalibring kampiyon na walang iba kundi ang ating kababayan na si Nunito Dunaire na nagpahirap kay Nauya Inoue at muntik ng tumalo sa hapon na ito. Kaya naman po ito po munang yahain ko na laban sa inyo mga idol. Ang laban na kung saan nga po ay unang nayanig si Inoue nang makalasap ng suntok na talaga namang nagpayanig sa kalamnan ng tinaguriang The Monster ng Bansang Japan.
Off his aim represents the younger Verdi over a death. WBA super 30 seconds. Try and force into his 30s. Stiff right hand lands that time. The air comes back with that faint to both men exchange it. The and WBO strap when they go, they rip. Warning signs for him that if he does overcommit, well with him. Bring back for this one. Favour. Stand there. Three years of his career. It's a lovely. So many knockouts, 16 catches him off balance. Denair Herking. Hope to plant his feet. He knows he carries the power. Denair, natural unification is by IBF. That was super. It's like that. Isn't able to read, but he's walking through them so far. And he does it. Him into that second half. Of it. His angle, stepping to the left and right. Second that he knows. The 45 fights that he's had for. A new way, like I said, Denair. Some negative seeds and flyweight all those years of matching his footwork, keeping it to the body. Denair really is, you know, that someone that that brings, but Denair, that that put pressure on a moving forwards, landing left, cut the rip through opponents en route to the left of just. But I'm sure someone like confident in his own. It's good stuff. The short left in and again, from has got those hands high for the B2. Not an easy decade now as well. Chris Dodge, you see every time Anuwe, full of power, right, kind of pace he would have wanted Anuwe dictating to now for the contest, not having to have done much all rounds of drum. And as you say, Anuwe just needed it, but then there is ease up, try and pick this counter there. His hand for the fact that Anuwe, yeah, absolute animal, but they have his contest, got a long time training, which two gets him out of trouble, Rigondo in the championship rounds. One bit, and we haven't seen before. Head and body. There you go. See the chip over the, over the top of right hand through this fifth round. Past the test so far. Worth uh, both of them. And just as we say, the right hand lands, and it's Lolito back with the left hook. So this is Dene seeing coming, but his legs are moments to the bell as a new check left hook from Dene. Ho at this point because he knows the path not to worry because perhaps we expected it from over a decade. He's had extremely good power. Superb. Five and a half rounds. And that the old champion Grant still looks and the he's starting to given the leather that he's taking but to take us into the second half of the fight the way up it just takes one move forward quick very fight fair to say but he knew yeah the spot plant in his face see the patterns of move beats and notice of how the great spot likes to revert to Duran from the there maintain that game is Thinking, both letting this shot have gone down. I don't know what the odds would have been on it. Wouldn't have got much though. Anyway, again, with someone managing it so far, reminds him why his reputation as a puncher is as it is. Uppercut could that be a problem? Right, the head right hand. He brings full power in the right hand. The left eye of to swell. A little bit punch lands. Just a little bit different. Oh, down to right hand from the to the left. He set all eyes are on him. Battle. Really show difficult circumstances. We know angry puncher as Denair was all those you 100 percent and definitely with Denair and anyway, firing back and arguing and you've probably got everybody telling class and you as one of them to himself. Doubt can give it. This is good stuff from Anuay. Side Denair goes a little flat foot. Oh good. And this is now the new age round. Oh and again he hurt Denair with the right hand. Denair just inching back for the first time in the round. Inching rounds. Right. Oh Anuay will sense the shots landing clean. But Denair Love is good stuff. But they're desperately trying to get back on that. He's yet to hold though. This is the home crowd now. Really get behind him. And they love him. He's counting now. They're only the third. And the referee it's really hurt. Tries to hang on. He knew it. 11 rounds. But is this the end? Oh, dear, what a concert inside Tama. As Inoue opens up. But his staff will have seemed like an age for Inoue. Put them there to let some big shots of his own go. Well, a long left there. Pretty. <laughs> Big shots, experts to his work on the It's just this wear age and he's got the quarter boxing over the last nearly two. It does into the Hall of Fame. It's a good fit for Steve. Fans will want, given the legendary team, they will want him to finish. Hats off to both guys. Fantastic stuff.